Good day, everyone. Now our topic will be on humble leadership, which is HLT 15. Sisters, the reason why we are here today is because we are God's chosen leaders. Agree ba mo, sisters? If you agree, please type Amen, mga sisters, diha sa chat box. We are God's chosen leaders. Say Amen or type Amen if you agree. Great. Great. Yes, mga sisters, we have to claim that, that we are God's chosen leaders. Kay wak man ta mga apply ani. Di ba? So God saw something in us na pwede niya i-mold so that we can be the leaders that we are today. And he will continue to mold us. And one of these is to remind us that our type of leadership should be humble leadership. I know, sisters, na kasagaran sa ato, probably gahuna-huna na dili mag leader material. Uy, nga nung ako may ilang kipili to be a leader? of God's people, ani ako mga sisters, no? Mau ba na atong ginahuna, sisters? You might think that we are not qualified. Basing nagtuutang nga, dili ta ready. Basing sige tag-ingon nga, there are other people, there are other sisters who are better than me. Nga nung ako man. But sisters, believe me, Kang tanan na tong pagduda, the Lord is still able to use us. Kanang atong pagtuo na kulang pata, di pata ready, wala ko'y capacity, etc. Now God can really use us. Because God can use anyone. Ang ako na lang nato ang mga apostolis niya, na iyang gitawag yun, no? Si Simon Peter, saputun, luuran. Pero, nagamit niya, iya mga ganing gihimo o the rock on which my church will be built. Diba? Grabe. Si Andrew, wala gito siya leadership skills. Kay, sunod-sunod na gito siya, paling-paling. Pero nagamit ni hapon siya sa ginoo. Ang katong managsuon nga si James o si John, di ba, o kita pa'y pasultihon ato nila, mga kuanto sila, mga na ay mga vested interest, ipaagig koneksyon kay aron sila mabutang sa pwisto, di ba? Ang ilang mama manggali mo nag-ingon na pwede ibutang ni mo ang akong anak, ang usa sa tuo, ang usa sa wala ni mo. Sigurista, di ba? Pero nagamit niya po sila sa ginoo. Nahimo niya po sila leader sa simbahan. Si Matthew. Kato si Matthew, dili to siya anad maging halubilo o tao. Mura to si Matthew o may pagka-autistic ba? No? Sa, sa description ni Matthew o ang mga psychiatrist karon ang mo-evaluate Murag na kasi ay kuan anak nga tendency, nga mura siya autistic, no? So, dili mo tanaw o tarong, mahadlok mo gunit o tao, mahadlok maging istorya o tao, pero nahimo siya ang usa ka gospel writer. Kato si James o si Thaddeus, may pagka-radical, kung ito sila, may pagka-supakiro ba? Pero, they became evangelizers also together with the other apostles. Kunya ang pinaka-educated nila, si Judas Iscariot, mo'y mas maayo to siya sa mga finances, no? Mauna nahimo siya treasurer. So nakahibaw ta later on nga 
bintahuso da ini siya, tikasan, etc. Pero nagamit yung gihapon siya sa Ginoo. All of them were chosen by Jesus to be his apostles. Sisters, all of us are also chosen by the Lord to be leaders in this community, in the handmaids of the Lord. Pwede matatanyat gitawag sa sa atong parish, pwede tanya gitawag sa lain nga community, pero dili sisters, gitawag ta ni Jesus din he sa handmaids of the Lord. Gihimo ta niya og leader kay ngano man na ay iyang nakita nga ato ang katangian nga hibaw siya nga magamit aron ma-achieve ang goal nato no unsa gani ito ang goal that all people will be under one church under Jesus Christ ug niingon si Jesus nga kita nakit niya abilidad nga pwede da ita makatabang nga ma-achieve kana nga goal ilang abilidad ang gipangita sa Ginoo dili lang outside appearance ang gipangita sa Ginoo God looks at the heart a heart that sees the goodness of God and a heart that sees the need of mankind. We became God's instrument in order to achieve His goal. And also, God looks for humility. So, ugna akaana pasok na dayon ta, no? We have to be humble because we are not perfect. And the more that we admit our imperfections, the more that we accept that we are sinners, but we repent and accept God's mercy and forgiveness, that is what is pleasing to the Lord. Moro ginagitan ako sa ginoo, no? Kay, ani manguna pinigyod ang stand sa ginoo? I am your God and you are my people. So, your will be done, Lord not mine. We know that we are nothing without God. Because God understands our weaknesses. God understands our imperfections. And so, naingun siya, why problema? Because I'm going to teach you. No? The same way nga katong mga apostle, iyang gigather, with all of their imperfections, unya iyang gi mold, iyang gi anam anam o tudlo, until they became the leaders na atong na ilhan. Ang mga disciples, kasunod sunod sa iya, hantod nga, nakat unsan sila. The same way, sisters, that we are disciples. We are learning leaders. So wala ta gihimo nga leader sisters nga kamao na tadaan. Mo nang bigyot ta makaingon bitaw nga di ta ko prepared. So anytime nga ingon mo nga i-elevate na gyud ka to be the chapter head kay kinahanglan gyud og chapter head. Di ta ka ingon nga di ko prepared. Kay we have to admit our insufficiencies. Because the Lord is the one who's going to teach us. So wala ta ni su diri nga kamao ta daan ni su ta diri because we are learners. And then the Lord will gradually teach us what to do. The Lord will gradually equip us. So disciples ta, ang ato ra yun is to say yes and we become active Christian leaders. Active meaning that we are constantly on the go Active because we are actively listening to the Lord's instruction. Active because we do the duties and responsibilities given to us according to the service na gihatag sa ato. Mau bitaw na nga naata karun ingon ani karun HLT. Diba? Household Leaders Training. 
Because we are learning leaders. Ang kara mga unit heads, nasa na sila ihang unit head training. Ang katung mga ang mga chapter heads nasa. So, we are always learning. Oh yeah, along the way di ba natin mga teaching sisters, no? Bisag unsa na nato kadugay na apagihapon tay makatunan sisters because the Lord uses us in different ways. He gives us inspiration. He gives us instructions. So we need not worry, sisters. Ang ato lang yun na atong buhaton kutub sa atong mahimo. Asa man ni nagikan ang atong leadership? Asa gikan ang atong authority? No. So again, we take instruction from the master himself. Na atay direct line of communication sa iyaha through our prayers. Iyang gihatag ang Holy Spirit na itong tanan to teach us and guide us. So, ukun sa iyang gusto na ah, gikan sa iyaha mismo, no, direct from God goes to us through the Holy Spirit. Because we are disciples of Jesus, we learn from Jesus. We learn from His examples. So we lead like Jesus. Ug unsa nga leader si Jesus, then mo sa atong sundun, no? Aron masunod na nato, we stay tuned. We stay connected through our prayer. And then we lead by example, the way Jesus leads by example. Role modeling, sisters. Mau nak nak kinahanglan, ukun sa tung gitudlo nato, no practice what we preach, no or walk the talk. Ukun sa tung atung gitudlo, mau atung buhaton kay ang atung mga members gatan aw man sa ato. Unya unga kan ite ipabuhat sa atung members. Make sure that we give resources, provide resources, provide guidelines. Sister, ikaw mo mag talk aning CLP5. Oh. Hatagan na dayon na to. Hindi oh. ang expanded outline. Gusto ka na anasan ko yung PowerPoint. Tatay speakers training. So, ayun ana, ano? So, provide whatever our members need. Muna siya ang usaka caring nga member. But most of all, sa example ni Jesus, servant leadership. Nihatag mang gani yun siya strong statement no nga iyang gihugasan ang tiil sa iyang mga apostles. Mauna ang servant leadership. So niingon si Jesus mismo no based sa iyang instruction niingon nga whoever wants to be first will be last. Whoever will be last will be first. Or those who exalt themselves will be humbled. And the humbled will be exalted. So, your Anna, servant leadership, Gideon, see? The greatest among you shall be your servant. Then we also get inspiration. We follow the leadership styles of biblical leaders. The saints, the leaders of our church, mga pari, mga bishop, si ang pope. So basaho nato no ang mga buhat ni Paul o ang mga other apostles. We can read that in the Bible, in the Old Testament. Na ida kang leaders mo din ha no na kita nato no who has shown their leadership skill no humble leadership. Gideon, for example, no, de ba? Ah, soldier manisiano, unya ni tuo siya sa ginoo nga, ni ingon ang ginoo nga ayaw pagdadaghan nga sundalo kay umuda uga magtuo niya kanga ni da uga tungod sa imong kaugalingong abilidad. Moto ni ingon siya nga gamay rang sundalo dad ah, de ba? Ni anak pagdating si Gideon nga daghan kay mong kontra siya basta gan 
gamay ra ang dad ah. And ito o siya, no? Si Moses. Unsa man gina si Moses, no? Nga starter man si Moses karang dili man siya pagka istorya o diretso. Pero nagamit ka siya maayo sa Ginoo, di ba? Very strong leader siya for 40 years. Then si David, King David. No, we know the story of King David and how good a leader he was. Uya sa mga babae, si Mama Mary mismo, di ba? Humble, no? Mag my soul magnifies the Lord, di ba? Uya, kanang ni anak siya ganit sa magnificat, no? He scatters the proud and he lifts up the lowly. Si Esther, Queen Esther, no, you read the story about Queen Esther. Nindot kaayo. And then the story about Ruth. Si Ruth, ang iyaha is a, a life of service sa iyang mother-in-law. And then of course, we follow instructions from our leaders in CFC and our leaders in the handmaids of the Lord. Mauna nga na atay household head. No, kung household head ka, ang imong household head, ang unit head. O unit head ka, ang imong household head, ang chapter head, and so on. So naagitay leader above us to give us instruction, to give us guidance, to give us direction, to nurture us, to train us, because we are learning leaders. Mauna sisters, no? Nga, di kita mag-ingon nga di pa ko prepared. Di kita mag-ingon nga di li lagi ko ka mao. Di kita mag-ingon nga ka nang sila na lang because kita ang gitawag. Kunya, di kita mabalaka because we are amply provided. We are amply equipped. We are amply guided. No, gikan sa Ginoo through the Holy Spirit, through our church leaders, through our leaders in the Bible, and through our leaders in our community. All the role models that we mentioned all points out to one quality. Ang katungtanan ng mga leaders that we mentioned earlier na asilay usa ka common na quality and that is humility. Humble leadership. Now, let us read the slide together. And whoever exalts himself will be humbled. And he who humbles himself will be exalted. In God's kingdom, the leader is the servant. The same way in the handmaids of the Lord, the leader is the servant. Because sisters, we are leaders, not because of the position, but because of the service. May yung bitaw nga, taas na na siya granggo. Sa handmaids of the Lord, wala tay ranggo, sisters. We are all servant leaders. Nahimo lang tag unit head because mo na ang service nga assign sa ato as unit head. Nahimo lang ka o chapter head because mo na ang service nga assign sa imo. Nahimo kag uncoop coordinator because mo na ang service nga na-assign sa imo. So kaning atong mga position, sisters, is not the hierarchical position. It's not the position of authority. Rather, it is a service position. And we are here in order to minister to our members. Naata din hi, 
aron to serve our members. That is what we mean, sister, by humble leadership. That is the topic that we are discussing today. Then we ask, how can we show humility in leadership? Ato ng matubag, sisters. You simplify your goal. Dita mga ambisyon o daghan kayong buhaton. Because sometimes mo inguntang nga ng hambog na ta. Sometimes mo inguntang nga nagpakitang gilas na ta. Just have simple goals. Maubita na mga sisters, no? At the beginning of the year na atay plans. Punya ato din ang ihan ay ang atong plan for the 12 months of the year para achievable siya. Unya, nakafocus sa gita sa ato ang mission. O sa atong mission, personal transformation. No? Pagbago, no? Pag-improve sa atong Christian character. And then we have evangelization. And then the third is answering the cry of the poor. Or building the church of the poor. So, maurakit na mga sisters. Mga bitaw na nga gidiscourage bitaw nga na atay mga activities nga outside of the mission and vision of the couples for Christ and handmaids of the Lord. So, ang ato... Ang ato rin yung pinaka-goal is for more and more people to know Jesus Christ. We help them find Jesus. We help them follow Jesus so that they will be disciples themselves. We want them to experience God's love. Maorag yun na ang atong goal. Sa pag-set na to sa atong goal, ang atong kung ano is not to excel, it's not to impress, it's not to compete with the other sector, it's not to compete with the other chapter, no? Ang there's no competition here, no? Wala tayong club mentality, no? We don't pull each other down, we lift each other up. So we focus ta sa mga activities that can best serve our people that can best build up the kingdom of God. Mauro yun na, uwa na tayo laing goal, sister. Focus na taaning sa mission sa Couples for Christ. Then ang sunod, sisters, simplify your means. Simple na pamaagi. Dili na taan ng mga complicated, no? Simplify. So ang ato yun is we depend on faith, on faith, Hope in the Lord and love. So as long as we have faith, hope, and love, then we are okay. We can do a lot of things together. We put our trust in the Lord. Eh kung dili, sister, then nagpairal na ang pride. And pride can lead to arrogance. Magtuo na da yung tanga, ang tanga na buhat tungod sa akong abilidad. Tungod kay kamao ko. Tungod kay ako ray maayo. We don't want over-reliance on our own effort. We don't want over-reliance on our own activities and plans. Because we are serving our master. So we always seek guidance from the Holy Spirit. We set priorities. Unsa may atong unahon? Kung magka-conflict, unsa may unahon? Di ba? Gisultihan sa daan mga sisters, di ba? Huwag na atay prayer meeting again sa fellowship. Unahon ang prayer meeting. Kung na ay prayer meeting, kung ang usaka sister na ito nang imbitar dito kay Yehang birthday party, unahon na ito ang atong prayer meeting. Di ba? Huwag na ay sector teaching. Ayaw na pagbutang din haoglain pag yun nga teaching. Diba? So, we, we set priority so that daghan tag mabuhat. Huwag ma-maximize na ito ang atong activities. 
Always remember, dili na to mabuhat ang tanan. Dungan-dungan, ma-burn out ta. The Lord does not want that. The Lord is saying, kanira ang trabaho ah, because ang uban nga trabaho, pwede man ang hatag na ko sa lain. So don't be selfish nga ako tanan, ako hong tanan, di ba? We allow others to serve also. We allow others to grow also. Ang atong gusto, participative. Ang tanan na ay ilang contribution sa trabaho. Then next is you simplify your purpose. Kung sa may reason nga nung ni-serve ta. Ang atong purpose is not to magnify ourselves. We fix our eyes on Jesus. No? Si Jesus ragyo, dili kita. Point everything to Jesus. That's why we always say, to God be the glory or may God be praised. So ang atong ragyong purpose is to love God, to serve God. So that more and more people will know Him, love Him, serve Him. That is number one. Focus on Jesus. And then, because we are leaders, we focus on the people that are interested to us. Focus on the people we serve. Most of the mga sisters, you focus on your household. Ay, nasigit tang auditus household sa uban. No? You focus on your household. So, if you do this, that I focus on on Jesus, what I need to do based on my goals and based on my means, and then I'm going to do it. Then my second focus will be the people entrusted to me. Kaya siya ang importante dili kita. Muna niingon nga, for he must increase and I must decrease. Then next, we focus on the people assigned to us. People entrusted to us. Kaning atong servisyo diri sa handmaids of the Lord, we don't seek recognition. We don't seek approval. Muna mga sisters, ayaw paghulat nga mo thank you. Di ba? Like, oh, thank you han, tama ayaw, pero oh, dili ganita thank you han, don't wait, don't expect that your leader will call you and say, thank you, ha, kay ikaw may nagkuan ganina. No, of course, we are courteous, we say thank you, pero huwag dili mang ganit ka ma-thank you, ayaw yun because we don't expect recognition, we don't expect approval. Because we're not pleasing man, we are pleasing God. Our work is for the Lord. Not for us. And then while focusing on the Lord, we also focus on the people that are entrusted to us. These are the people that we serve. We are the leader of these people. So focus on our purpose to let these people know God better, love God more, and serve God well. Ato silang gitrain sisters so that later on they will become leaders themselves. Unya sisters, these are people entrusted to us, but the Lord is our master. So there will come a time na ibalhin taglain na service. Do not hold on to your members, sisters. No, ibalhin ganika. All you need to say. Bye-bye. You will have one last meeting and say, move, move, move forward na ko because I am assigned in another uh, unit, in another chapter. But we will continue to be sisters. Karun ako tamo i-indoor sa bago ninyo nga sisters. Ya pagkawang anak na dayan, ayaw na sige yung ano. Oye, may nga kung bito ako ninyo mga sister. Oye, kung ano kaya ko digyo, ito ko gano'n. Ayaw na anak na drama sisters. No. We cut cleanly. Kay pagkahuman anang last meeting ninyo, then you are already the leader of another unit. These are no longer entrusted to you. 
these people are already entrusted to the new leader. So, ingon ana, what gay ingon ana willy 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 no. But I am not saying a cut mo, di na dayon mo, di na dayon mo magtagad. No, you are still sisters, you are still close with each other. But, Mangutana na gani sila in matters of pastoral care sa imuha, ayaw nagtubag, sisters. Imo, imo silang ikuan nga, pangutana lang sa inyong household head. So that we follow the order and governance of the, aron walay, gubot. So ingon ana agad mga sisters. You love them, you nurture them. But when it is time for you to go, to separate, to move forward, then you let go. Unya mga sisters, when we simplify our purpose, always remember, although we want the best work, di magina ma perfect sister, then Accept your weakness. Accept mistakes, failures, because it will always happen. Ang ato lang we learn from those failures. Unya ung na ay anything na weak ta, mga itatabang ato somebody who knows the more capable to do it. Pwede magkay ko ka mao ani? Ako ni asayan ato niya pwede ikaw ana. Kaya mas kamao ka. We cooperate with each other. It's called synergy. So mo orag yun, sisters, no? Humble leadership, tulurag yun. Simplify your goal. Simplify your means. And simplify your purpose. Sisters, there is joy. In humble leadership, there is a sense of freedom in leading like Jesus leads. And always be reminded that there is one law in God's kingdom that says he raises up the humble and the proud he scatters away. Asa ka gusto, sister, iskater ka sa ginoo or i-lift up ka sa ginoo? Diba? So, humble leadership. No? Servant leadership. The Lord is going to raise up the humble. Everything we do, we do for God, for His glory. And now, sisters, I'm going to end this talk and give glory to God for giving us this time to discuss about humble leadership with each other. To God be all the glory.